Well, when you think of the word scuba, you probably picture clear blue waters and sand that stretches for miles. Well, it may surprise you to know that uh, you don't have to book a flight and put, to put on scuba gear and learn the ins and outs of scuba diving. Colonel Eccles is with Landscape, or I should say Land Shark, Scuba and Snorkel Center in Sioux Falls. He's here to tell us how we, how we can learn to scuba dive without an ocean nearby. And Colonel, <laughs> thanks for being here. Well, obviously we have water around here that you can Absolutely. learn to scuba dive in and whatnot, but, uh, but let's get rid of that misconception. I mean, the scuba diving, it can be done in places all around our lakes and our rivers and stuff right here in, in our area. Absolutely. And um, South Dakota is one of six states that allows you to shoot game fish while on scuba. So if you're a fisherman and you're, shoot, and you're you know, going after walleye, bass, northern stuff, we can go to the river and do the same thing here on scuba. And um, the visibility is not near as good, but it gives you and it makes you a better topwater fisherman too. So that's that's one of the things we do a lot here. We also have a lot of you know, Okaboji's great. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of area anywhere the water's over my head, it's a good place to go scuba diving. And, and are the are the waters clear around here, or is it enough to that no, you can? No, they're, they're not, they're not real clear. Say. No, <laughs> it's not not compared to what you see on the on, yeah. the, on <laughs> in the ocean and stuff. But you go to the river and we get. Eight feet of visibility, that's a good day. We teach, and what it'll do though is it's no different. It's really good for teaching divers here because if you learn to drive going back and forth to Brookings from December to, to March, you're driving in all kinds of weather. Right. And you get all kinds. Well, if you learn to drive going between, you know, Flagstaff and, and, and Phoenix uh, in good weather, anybody can drive on good roads. Yeah. Well, so when you learn here, you don't know the difference. So we teach you in this in the water here, so that when you get to water like that, you're way more comfortable. And I mean, 70% of the Earth is covered in water. So yeah. when you go on a vacation, you're missing out on 70% of your vacation. So what are the first things that you, if somebody comes to you and says, "Hey, they want to learn to scuba dive," does it matter age? Does it matter health? I mean, talk about the things that somebody has to consider if they want to take up this. Anybody can dive as long as they're healthy enough. And healthy is, if you don't have uh, epilepsy or bad asthma, um, generally, probably leprosy is not a good one either, but most of the challenges most people have, well, the number one thing they're gonna say, they're, they're claustrophobic. But otherwise, anybody can, it just depends on how big a demon you got in your pocket. Is there a misconception that people, I mean, you see some of the pictures of some of the things that you've done, is there a misconception about diving that, you know, Everybody need to think of Absolutely. Everybody's worried. They all say, what about sharks? Mm -hmm. I say, go to the Black Hills. There's bears out there. You worried yeah. about that? You know, nobody worries about that. There's more people die from toasters or vending machines falling on them than uh, shark attacks. And, you know, the thing is, they don't make movies about killer toasters. So that's, it's a, it, that's the biggest misconception. That everybody also feels like I'm claustrophobic. Yeah. And if you say you're cla that's that's one you just have to work through because it's not. It's the it's the next largest environment we have on the earth. Talk about the um, you know putting on the equipment, the tanks, all the things that you need uh, to 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 dive. It looks heavy. It looks cumbersome. It looks hard to uh, coordinate with. Talk, talk about. <laughs> the ease of it once you get in the water. Well, it, that, then that's huge because uh, people always say, oh, I go snorkeling. Well, it's easy to get to the water snorkeling, but it's a lot more work once you get in the water because you're doing the ups and downs. Scuba diving, yeah, it's a little more work to get to the water. But my mom got certified at 76 and dove till she was 84. Um, you can do things. We can put the gear. Um, there's a lot of um, uh, uh, the Wounded Warriors program has a great program where we teach uh, amputees to dive. Um, you can you can be if you got if you've got the the core health, the rest of it we can handle. So it's have, really not that big a deal. Do you have to be a strong swimmer? Actually, no. You I mean, if, if really, um, we put a tank on you and go for a walk. But it, it, you do have to be able to swim a little ways, and it doesn't mean that you have to be in any time to it, but what it'll do, a lot of times it makes you a better, um, we take that fear of the water, that's mainly what, what swimming is, is people, if they're not a good swimmer, it's mainly because they've got a fear of some sort. We can take that and change that fear of the water to respect for the water, because you can get underwater and watch people swimming, you can help them with their, with their functions without having to worry about breathing, and that makes them an actual stronger swimmer. So what is the process for somebody to get started if they wanted to be a diver today? It's a three-phase process. The first phase is the knowledge reviews, the, the knowledge development. So now we can do that online, which is fantastic. You got five chapters that you do, um, and we do the, the, it gives you all the background and what you need to have. 
Then up here we do five pool dives. You have to, and you, we um, we go to the pool or in pool-like conditions, and teach you the skills that you need to have. And then we do four open water dives. So essentially, you could get it. What we do up here is once you've got the knowledge reviews done, um, you can be done in two weekends. Wow! So it's not. It's not as bad as everybody thinks. It's just timing it. Up here in the wintertime, it's a little tougher. So we take trips. Or if you're going, say you're going to, you're going to go to Fiji, or you're going to go to Hawaii, or you're going to the Bahamas, um, we can do the first two phases here, slow, nice sure. and easy, get you through it. Because we, we really stress, of all the, of our, we have an awful lot of fun, but we stress safety. You know, if you're, if I can teach you to be a safe diver, you're going to have more fun. If you have more fun, you're going to dive more. If you dive more, we both benefit. Yeah. So fun. it's not that that three phase process is pretty easy. Yeah, fun. This is a lot. We could go on for this. Oh, but this is good. good. Absolutely. Colonel, thanks for being here today. So, so if you're ready to get your toes wet, check out the Discover Scuba Diving event going on tonight at six o'clock. All you need is a swimsuit, towel, and a smile.